And here, the next topic dealing with the electron structure in an atom is what we would call the photoelectric effect. Another byproduct of the understanding of the quantization of energy, knowing that energy is consistent of small little packages of energy, um, we discovered an interesting phenomenon. As a matter of fact, this phenomenon is what earned Einstein the Nobel Prize in Physics. It's called the photoelectric effect. What was discovered was that in a metal, for example, sodium, sodium in the solid state is a metal, uh, electrons reside within the metal and they're fairly easily removed. Most metals, the electrons are not that strongly attached or attracted to the rest of the metal and the, less, the rest of the charges within the metal. And so a fairly small amount of energy imparted upon the surface of metal could potentially set an electron free. The amount of energy required to set an electron free, to break it free from the attractive forces to the other charges that are within the metal is called the work function. The work function is the energy needed to free an electron. And for sodium, the work function is 2.36 electron volts. So how do you set an electron free out of sodium metal? Well, Einstein showed that if you continually shine light onto the sodium, onto the metal, such that the frequency of the light and the wavelength of light was such that each photon carried less energy than 2.36 electron volts. It didn't matter how bright you made that light, not a single electron would fly free. So imparting enormous amount of energy onto the surface of the sodium metal would set not a single electron free. If we assume that light was not quantized, that it was continuous stream of energy, and you would think that if enough energy comes onto the sodium, it would simply set all kinds of electrons free, but it did not. But when he had a very small amount of light, a very small amount of light source shining onto the metal, but of such a color that the wavelength was such that the energy contained within each photon was greater than that, all kinds of electrons were being set free because every single photon could set free an electron. And that could be measured by the amount of current that would flow away from the sodium metal. Of course, I'm not drawing the exact structure of what the experiment looked like, but basically that was it. So what kind of light can set an electron free in a sodium, in a sodium atom? So what kind of photon has at least 2.36 electron volts? Well, again, going to the equation, energy is equal to h times the frequency, which is equal to h times c divided by the wavelength. And then we go ahead and solve this for the wavelength. The wavelength is equal to hc divided by the energy. So that would be equal to Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds, multiply times 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and divide that by the energy. The energy is 2.36 electron volts. Now, of course, you want to convert electron volts to joules, and so that is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per electron volt. So that will give us the wavelength of the photon, or the, the minimum wavelength required to set an electron free in sodium. So 6.626e to the 34 minus times 3e to the 8 divided by 2.36 and divided by 1.6e to the 19 minus. And we get a wavelength of 526 nanometers. So the wavelength is equal to 526 nanometers. So any photon, any photon with a wavelength of 526 nanometers or less falling onto the sodium metal can free an electron. So what happens to the extra energy? What happens if a, let's say, an, a, a photon comes along, energy of a photon, and let's say it's equal to three electron volts. What happens? Well, that difference of the energy will be used by the electron to zip off, and then the kinetic energy contained within the photon will be equal to the difference between the two, would be equal to three electron volts minus what's necessary to overcome the work function. So the difference is simply used by electron to zip away. The more, the more extra energy it has, the faster it will fly away from the sodium. But if it doesn't have at least this much, unfortunately, the electron will stay there, the photon will simply bounce off, and the electron cannot use that energy. So that's, in short, the concept of the photoelectric effect. Again, showing that energy is quantized. And because of this experiment that Einstein did, to show that energy is quantized using the photoelectric effect, he got the Nobel Prize for the 1905 discoveries. So that was more than 100 years ago.
That's the photoelectric effect. 